Good day, my name is John from your local Workforce Solutions, and today I would, an I would like to answer questions concerning resume preparation, application preparation, and interview techniques from our panel. I'd like to ask the first question regarding resume preparation. I was still wondering, is it still true that you should keep your resume to one page, or are you allowed to go to the second page, at least a fourth? Well, primarily the rule of thumb as to prepare a resume, resumes should remain at one page, and they should examine, and they should example at least 10 years of relative work experience, and should the work experience travel to past 10 years or over 10 years, it would be absolutely uh, acceptable to have it extend into two pages. Next question. When filling out an application, sometimes I have to leave stuff blank. Would that be advisable or what should I do? Leaving items blank on applications usually send a red flag to the employer to the tune of it may not be important to you or simply, I just choose not to answer. Both in either situation would definitely show a disinterest in the position. It would be my recommendation to leave no items blank on the application. However, to address those items which may prove to be uh, non-existent or you wouldn't have an answer to cover those specific areas, I recommend the four possible solutions, either no, none, not applicable, or if in, in case of a number, annotating the, the number zero. My question pertains to interviews. How would you dress properly for an interview? Dressing properly for an interview, it really remains your choice, so to speak, to your specific style. However, it would be recommended that one dress one step above, literally, the position that they're seeking. It's recommended that a tie, light colored shirt for males, bright, uh, not brightly colored items, uh, mauve, beige, brown, tan business suit for ladies. It, it basically depends on the position in which you're seeking. Remember, your first impression is your best impression. I have a child and sometimes I can't find a babysitter. Um, should I bring her to my interviews? That's an interesting question. Normally, during most interviews, children can be welcomed. However, it's not recommended because we want to remember that the interview should be directed toward the interviewer and the interviewee. Children have a tendency oftentimes to create distraction, which may take away from the overall depth of the total interview. Uh, when uh, preparing my resume, what uh, font size should I use in preparing my uh, resume? Well, typically the font size on most of your word processors, especially those that work with Windows type media such as Microsoft Word and Office, the font is usually predetermined. 10 to 12 pitch, what we call oral font, which simply means we have 10 to 12 characters per an inch. The use of bolds and italics, often though they are used throughout the resume, I would caution to use them sparingly only in separate individual areas where a specific highlight should be shown, but not throughout the entire resume. During your interview, how would you recommend a person bring up salary or negotiate their salary for a position? Negotiating a salary, well that can be pretty tricky for those individuals that aren't well versed in salary negotiation. My specific uh, request or my specific point to you in that area would be, I would never attempt to negotiate a salary until first of all, we understand that we have a job offer. Without that job offer, salary negotiations could take on a different page. When negotiating one salary, first of all, be very conscientious to do your homework. Know the type of salary range that is going to give you the type of benefit that you're looking for and negotiate that salary based on the experience, the training, and the education you currently possess. For any answers to any future questions that you might have, please feel free to contact your local Workforce Solutions.